digital romance TV. Hey folks, Michael Fiore from DigitalRomance.tv along with the plucky, though possibly tired, Nora. Nora! Nora, how are you, Nora? I'm good! Great, <laughs> what is our topic for today's video? Texting when first dating, how often is too often? Uh, yes, how often is too often? What do you think before, we, before I dive in? I am the texting expert, after all. Well, I mean, thumbs. from my own... <laughs> They're so strong. Uh, from my own experience, um, yeah. I, I don't, I mean, if you're, ex if you're pushy about it, then s like even once a day is too often, yes. but uh, just putting something out there and then maybe getting a response. I, I don't necessarily always have long conversations, but sometimes just a little like, I was just thinking about you or whatever and yeah. checking in or... Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Little stuff. So we talked about this a lot in Text the Romance Back, the, the yeah. program that I was on Rachel Ray for a few years ago. I was so young back then. so young. So young, yeah. Um, we talk about this a lot in that particular program, and there is a, a tendency for people to become what I refer to as text terrorists, which is hard to say. And a text <sighs> terrorist is when, like, we've gotten emails it from like people. Sex terrorist. It does a little bit. This is a whole <laughs> other thing. Uh, we've gotten emails from people that say, like, oh, a guy went, you know, I was dating this person, and then he, I, he didn't respond to me, so I sent him 17 messages oh, in a row. Was that too much? You wait, no, yes. The answer is yes. You wait for much. a response. That's yes, the other response. thing. Like, I think that's the etiquette is, uh, otherwise here's, you do become an, a terrorist. Here's, here's my entire rule for this. It's, a, it's a really easy. If you send two texts and don't get a response, you can't text again for at least one day. Done. Yep. Simple. So if you send a, hey, what's up, and you don't get a response, that's okay. Then you can try an hour or two later, you try something else, you don't get a response, you're done for the day. You're cut off. That's it. Unless he tell, unless should, he or so she So then you should just call him, you. right? No, don't call either. Leave him alone. Or her alone. Leave them both Facebook? Alone. Nothing. Nothing. You stalk them. No, because then you're getting needy. That's a bad thing. But you want them to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, but they're not going to. Oh. So you cut yourself off at that point. So you can try twice over text, you don't get a response, it's done. And if they don't respond... But that means they don't like me. On. If it's not respond, don't take it personally. But that means they don't like me. There are a bajillion reasons why somebody <laughs> might not text you back. One might be they don't like you. It's totally true. Though, honestly, if I kept getting texts, I would eventually say, I don't like you on text, and that would be the end of it. I mean, that would be the beginning <laughs> of the stalker and the angriness. Um, they could be in a movie. Just they could, not that They could be you. at work. They could be at somebody who just doesn't text that much. Any number of these things could be actually true. The worst thing you could possibly do is take it personally. Now, we talk about this a lot more in Text the Romance Back, and you can check out that program at the link you see on your screen. And then please uh, subscribe so you can get a lot more advice from a wide variety of people Tons that of them. work with us in Not just romance. us. Uh, for Lots your of good life, people. Just click the subscribe button on your screen. Bye. Bye. You ever wonder what to text a guy to make him desperate to be with you? Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to learn Michael Fiore's secret texting formula to create incredible attraction with a guy at the push of a button.